Hello everyone, welcome to our video lecture series on HiSys and Unisim simulation. Uh, in today's video lecture, we will discuss how to define an absorber using the HiSys and the Unisim environment. These lectures have been organized by www.unitoperations.com and my name is Shekhar Bhattacharji. As usual, we will start with an example. Let's go to our first slide here carbon so a stream containing carbon dioxide uh, is absorbed into a solution of propylene carbonate which is sprayed from the top of the absorption tower this is the absorber where we have quarter inch ceramic rashi grains the inlet gas stream contains 20 mole percent carbon dioxide and 80 mole percent ethane so this is my inlet gas which contains 20 mole percent carbon dioxide and 80 mole, mole percent of methane uh, the gas stream flows at a rate of 7200 meter cube per hour. So this is my gas flow at 7200 meter cube per hour. And the column operates uh, isothermally at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius and 60.1 atmosphere. So these are the column operating conditions. The inlet propylene carbonate solvent. So here uh, flow rate is 2000 kilomoles per hour. So this is my flow rate of the inlet uh, uh, solvent solution. and we have to use now sour uh, Peng Robinson package uh, as a fluid package for estimation of the properties um, while using uh, this simulation. And we have to calculate the concentration of carbon dioxide mole percent in the exit gas stream. So this is the exit gas stream where we have uh, mainly uh, methane which will not be absorbed in this solution. So this, this solvent is very specific for absorbing carbon dioxide. Uh, so methane will go out uh, all the methane which is remains unabsorbed will go out from here and maybe some amount of very small amount of carbon dioxide will go out from here and the spent liquor which is a propylene carbonate which has absorbed carbon dioxide which has absorbed carbon dioxide from the inlet solution from the inlet gases will come out from the bottom so this is basically the explanation of the process flow diagram so therefore now let us go for simulation of this particular problem as usual uh, we go for the new case and in this case we just do it a little different way we first select the fluid package here and then we go for add and we go all the way down and we choose the sour Peng Robinson as the fluid package now here we uh, the components list here we click on the view and this is the way we add the components so the first component we have to add is methane which is right here so we click on that and we do it and then we have carbon dioxide uh, which is already selected we add that and then we have propylene uh, propylene uh, carbonate and as you can see this is right here propylene carbonate so we have to add that so uh, we cross it out so we have selected the uh, sour ping robinson equation as the equation of state and we have also selected the components so therefore we can now directly go for the simulation environment so in the simulation environment what we do from the object palette we choose absorber so this is my absorber we have to now define the absorber so what we double click on that and on the top where the solvent would be coming in we just write solvent and uh, and this would be solvent out and uh, this would be gas in and this would be gas out Okay. and we click anywhere uh, outside and uh, let's say here and as you can see this next button comes in so we click on the next uh, here we put the pressure so as in the given in the problem the pressures are uh, 60 degrees Celsius column conditions are 60 degrees Celsius and 60.1 atmosphere pressure so here we put 60.1 
and we do not assume any pressure drop within the column so that the top and the bottom pressure we are keeping the same so this will be 60.1 and uh, once we do that then we click next again and here we put the temperature so this will be 60 degrees celsius and this would be also 60 degrees celsius we again we are assuming um, this is our initial assumption of course uh, give the in a reasonable initial assumption then it will calculate the exact uh, temperature on the top and the bottom and within the column uh, during simulation so these are my initial estimates so here we put that 60 degrees celsius once we do that then we are done with defining the column so we click here done once that is done now what we have to do uh, as you can see here the column has been properly defined so we let's take this on right here and uh, now uh, we we'll double click on this column and we go to the worksheet and in the worksheet first we define the composition the composition for the solvent in is propylene carbonate so we just write pure propylene carbonate and we hit one here and one so this is pure propylene carbonate and in the gas in we know that 0 0.8 uh, that's 80 mole percent is methane and uh, 20 mole percent is carbon dioxide so we put 0 0.8 here and 0 0.2 here so that makes it one and therefore we click here okay so these are the inlet compositions uh, defined now we have to depend de de define the compositions the uh, solvent both the solvent and the gas come in at 60 degrees celsius so we put your 60 degrees celsius here and we put 60 degrees celsius here also and the pressures uh, for the solvent in and the solvent out of course have to be on the same pressure to enter the column so we put here 60.1 and this is atmosphere so we go down here and we put atmosphere and this is also 60.1 and we put here atmosphere so both the solvent in and the gas in comes in at the same uh, condition here so that's where the conditions are 60 degrees celsius and 60.1 atmosphere uh, and then uh, the molar flow rate of the solvent is as you can see uh, the propylene carbonate solvent flow is 2000 kilomoles per hour and the gas stream flows at 7200 meter cube per hour Meet, so so let's in, uh, input these values for the solvent flow it would be 2000 kilomole per hour and once you do that of course the entire solvent stream is defined and here this is 7200 meter cube per hour so we go down the list here and see this is meter cube per hour so we click on that so both the solvent and the gas have been defined so uh, all the conditions for the solvent and the gas everything has been defined so now we just click on this on run here and uh, once we run this one you see this uh, all the streams come out blue that means this problem has been successfully simulated but uh, there's a problem this has been simulated for it's a, it's a tree absorber it's not a packed bed absorber so how do you define what kind of a packing would be there and how do you make the simulation understand that we have to use quarter inch rashi grains that's what the problem says here if you see that uh, carbonate a packed column with quarter inch ceramic rashi grains so what do we have to do the simulation using quarter inch ceramic rashi grains with a packed bed here we go and uh, what we do we click on this tool and then we click on the utilities uh, once on the utilities you go down here and click on this tray sizing and then you add utility once you've done just give a name to this one so let's call this as packing once we do that and then you say select ts and once you do that uh, so automatically by default t100 comes in so you T100 you click on this TS1 and you click OK once you do that it just really comes here then you go for this auto section in the auto section once you click that this particular window opens and here uh, so here what you click on this packed once you click on the pack then uh, you see the, the data for a lot of different types of packings are already given here but we have to choose quarter inch rashi greens so we go all the way down here and as you can see at this here right here this is rashi green ceramic quarter inch so this is the one we need to have so we click on this one so that has been chosen then you click on next once you do that so these are the uh, design factors what are already given in so you just say complete auto section so once you are given the complete auto section so uh, 
this you cross this one out and then you just say run okay uh, once you run that uh, so here is my composition so uh, kind of data we are getting from here so click on the packing here and then you say view utility here and and then so you click on this design and click on this auto section here and then you click on this pack and here it, again you choose the quarter inch rush greens so here uh, one next and then we say complete auto section do that then you come back here and you go for the performance then you see again and you click on the pack and automatically gives you the values for uh, for here you see the rush greens this ceramic rush greens so it gives you all the design parameters here and at the same time you can see what are my compositions here uh, the solvent in gas in of course solvent out and gas out and the conditions of course you can always see from right here uh, one important thing is let's say if you want to see if I change the flow rate how the design parameters changes what we can do let's say instead of 2000 you may put let's say 500 kilovolt per hour of the solvent flowing in solvent flowing in see automatically the design the section diameter changes and the section height also changes uh, so using this particular simulation you can actually change the flow rate and at the same time you can ch check what the design how the design parameters all the design parameters uh, change by changing any of these uh, independent variables given the results and as you can see the results show uh, these are my the compositions of the solvent coming in of course this pure propylene carbon this is my solvent uh, going out there's a very small amount of methane small amount of carbon dioxide but mainly propylene carbonate and the gas in of course this is what we had defined that is 20 mole percent carbon dioxide and 80 mole percent methane going in and this is mainly methane going out and uh, all the carbon dioxide has been absorbed and of course there will not be any propylene carbonate so these are the flow rates here of course pressure and the temperature is always around 60 degrees Celsius uh, 60 degrees these are my independent values uh, independent parameters which we have given to the simulation and these are the solvent out temperature and the gas out temperature and these are my pressures here and they have, these are the, my uh, molar flow rates and uh, so as you can 2000 this is we have given this value and uh, gas in 304.51 this corresponds to 7200 meter cube per hour uh, which which we have given and this one of course is 2000 uh, kilo mole per hour of solvent coming in so based on that see these are my uh, solvent flow rate out and this was my gas flow rate out and we can see also in terms of kilogram per hour what are the values here so that's the way you do it uh, you, uh, you simulate an absorber uh, we will come out with the uh, uh, other very unit operations equipment in our future video slides.